what's up everybody back here at hustlers casino live for our last session just gonna be playing some five five this time around and one of the first hands of the night i get dealt queen 10 suited in low jack it does fold around to me and i open up to 15 dollars and looks like we're gonna have a lot of callers here ladies and gentlemen cutoff puts in the call small blind puts in the call big blind puts in the call pretty much almost a family pot maybe half family who knows but yes, we're going to go four ways to a flop of Jack, five, five, two spades. Looking pretty good here. Am drawn to the queen high flush. And small blind and big blind both put in the check. I do decide to put out a bet of $20. Cut off calls and small blind folds. And then a big blind actually has other plans to come in with a raise to $85 this is a very strong raise ladies and gentlemen you're raising multi-way I mean you can't do this with nothing so pretty much I'm gauging their range pretty much they're going to be having a five a really strong jack or maybe a flush draw that could be worse than mine or a flush draw that could be better than mine let's hope it's the worst variety you know so we can actually just stack them if a spade comes but yeah, like I said, it do make it 85. I do put in the call and cut off fold. So we're going to be going heads up to a turn of the nine of diamonds. Pretty good turn here for me. Not only do I have the flush draw, I am now open ended to the nut straight. So looking pretty good here. My opponent decides to not slow down here. Not going to be hitting the brakes. They put out a bet of $120. And, you know, just taking my time here, but definitely going to be putting in a call. And we go to the river and what a beautiful one. It comes the four of spades. That's the exact card I wanted to see. I mean, pretty much any spade is good or it could have came an eight or a king. Just beautiful. And my opponent takes a couple of seconds and then they check. And yes, 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 yes. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to be having an Aunt Jamama moment. I am all in. My opponent has roughly $450 behind. I do have them covered. And they go into the tank. And they start talking to themselves. Their initial thought was to fold. And they started talking like they're going to call. And then they said they're going to fold and they actually flip over the five <laughs> while they're talking to me. I can hear a little bit what they're saying, but not everything through my headphones. But I do see that they turn over the five and I, I did look and I was like, damn, at this point, I want them to call. I mean, they didn't snap call to have a five. They call. I win $450 and take home the pot, right? And they're thinking, thinking, thinking. And eventually, finally, thank you. They put in the call. I turn over. Queen 10 of spades for the queen high flush. Love the lady. See, plus EV when it's in my hand, right? And they do turn over the 5 3 offsuit. And let this be a lesson. This is why you don't over defend your big blind four ways with 5 3 off. Just going to get you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you'll win pots sometimes, but in the long run, you're going to lose a lot of money. And no offense to that guy that played 5 3 off. He was really cool at the table. Talked to him a lot. But hey, I'm just saying it like it is. And next hand of the night, I get dealt Ace King offsuit and a low jack. Under the gun limps for $5, as well as under the gun plus one. I decide to ISO and I bump it up to $30. It does fold all the way back around to under the gun. And they put in a call as well as under the gun plus one. So we're going to be going three ways to a flop of Jack 10 Queen. Oh, baby, we just flopped the stone cold nuts. Let's hope we can get paid here. They do both check, put out a really, 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 really small bet of $30. Unfortunately, under the gun does just snap fold, but under the gun plus one does put in the call. When we go to the turn, it comes the two of clubs, not the turn I wanted to see. I do not have a club in my hand. Pretty worried here. They could have just turned a flush, but hey, I am not going to be slowing down. They do check, and I load up a bet of $75 this time around. 
they think for a little bit and they do put in the call and we go to river and it comes the nine of clubs i mean we already saw a third club on the turn definitely didn't want to see a fourth one looking pretty bad here luckily my opponent doesn't dock or anything they just check and i mean at this point no really point in betting here don't have a club in my hand let's just hope my straight is somehow good on a four card flush board so i do check back my opponent turns over queen nine of spades so they actually rivered two pier they had that open-ended straight draw with the nine and yeah take down the pot with face king they had a lady in the hand ladies don't let me down plus ev for me love to see it and for the next hand i wake up with ace king off again and it must be loving me tonight in a small blind and this time under the gun actually limps and we have multiple limps at the table at least four or five players limp and it's around to me in small blind and i'm like um hey time to raise up the stakes i make it 50 dollars to go big blind puts in the call and then under the gun actually back raises and makes it $200 to go. They're roughly $1,000 effective. It does fold all the way around to me. And I actually go into the tank here. Unfortunately, in game, I did not know that I was small blind. I actually thought that I was big blind. And I thought that the person who called the 50 to my left was under the gun. And the other person was under the gun plus one. I misread the positions. Sometimes in poker you make mistakes and unfortunately because of this after tanking and I just didn't realize it I end up calling the $200 instead of going all in because they can just have aces but if I knew that their position was under the gun and they were under the gun limp raising I would have just folded ace king I fold ace king all the time here listen to me everybody always fold ace king to a limp raise under the gun or in middle position just fold you're gonna lose a lot of money they always have aces and kings who cares about blockers you're just always gonna lose just fucking fold just trust me just fold so i perceive the call and as i'm calling yeah i'm just i'm just lighting an extra 150 dollars clearly on fire as i'm putting the chips in the middle let's see if we can hit something and yeah the person to my left and big blind does actually fold they tank fold by the way so we're going to go heads up with the under the gun raise to a flop of six five four and i check and a couple of seconds later my opponent announces that they're all in for eight hundred dollars what the fuck is this they just go all in for eight hundred dollars this makes no fucking sense they just have aces of kings i don't know why they're going all in i mean i wasn't going to call a bet anyway but after they you know after we got to the flop and i saw that they did go in, i noticed that holy shit i dropped the ball and i should have just folded free but yeah, sometimes in poker you make mistakes and you light $150 on fire. Oh well, I fold, they take down a pot, and I'm just a little upset at myself. And last big hitter tonight, I get dealt queen eight suited in middle position. I decide to raise and open to $15. Cutoff puts in the call, button puts in the call, big blind puts in the call. I mean, this just happens at these 5-5 games, right? So... Once again, we're going to go to our half family pot four ways to a flop of queen, queen, ace, two diamonds. Ladies are loving me once again when I have just this queen and spades in my hand. Looking pretty good here. We do flop trips. Weak kicker though, but let's hope we can be good. It does check to me and I decide to put out a bet of $20. Both players to my left fold, but the big blind to my right actually does put in a call turn brings in the king of spades so jack 10 just got there but not really worried about this card it's not the king of diamonds so still looking pretty good here they do put in the check and one important thing is now i'm pretty much playing the board i don't my eight in my hand doesn't play don't really have a kicker just have trip queens with ace king basically and i do decide on turns put out a bet of 75 dollars my opponent thinks for a little bit and they do put in a call river comes the nice rubber ducky brickish card in the entire deck the two of hearts love to see it they check and yeah i'm going to be betting river here trying to triple off did think about jamming but if i jammed it was going to be 
like 1.5 to 1.7x pot decided to not go for that size in this time and i just go for a normal wager of 180 dollars my opponent does actually go into the tank for a bit here 30 seconds goes by a minute goes by a minute and a half or so and they finally do flip in some chips and put in a call turnover queen eight suited and yeah they just marked their cards pretty sure they must have just had some sort of ace and thought they would be chopping or just thought i was bluffing so yeah very happy with this result take down the pot with a lady once again and final results for this session i do end with a profit of 720 dollars and if you like big cast game sessions make sure you check out this one right here where i play five five ten with a $20 straddle at Hustler Casino Live.